Welcome to the paint shop. On today's work order, a pair of full-sized jet airplanes. Obviously no ordinary paint shop. It's Goodrich Aviation's paint hangar near Seattle. The most pressing projects today are a 737 passenger aircraft and this 757, a courier plane for UPS, which will be decked out in gold, white, and of course, brown. We're going to use about 20 gallons of primer, about 30 gallons of white, about 30 gallons of gray, and about 20 gallons of brown. Total weight, if you, if you put that on a pallet and in liquid form, it would weigh several thousand pounds. You would have to use a forklift to move it around. The aircraft has already been stripped of its old paint, given a chemical conversion coating, sprayed with anti-corrosive epoxy primer, clean, sanded, and prepped. It's already had the acid etch, the conversion coating, and the epoxy primer. Last night, uh, we painted the white top coat on the aircraft, the decorative top coat. We're in process right now, as you can see, of masking off the lines and prepping for the brown. Airplane paint must be mixed and remixed. With various drying solvents and catalysts, until it reaches the perfect consistency. The crew wastes no time in getting it into five gallon pressure pots. And the electrostatic spray guns. Electrostatic means that there is a rounded charge to the aircraft and the gun has a generator inside the gun that produces a positive charge. It allows the paint to transfer to the aircraft instead of overspray going all over everything that's around you. An aircraft's paint job is critical. Without it, the aluminum airframe would be a sitting duck for the ravages of the atmosphere at 30,000 feet and 500 miles per hour. This airplane is in 40 below zero weather at one moment, and in 15 minutes, it's on the ground in Phoenix at 115 degrees sitting on the ramp. But like all paint jobs, this one is also intended to look good. What we always say in the painter trade is that the first two coats are for dough and the third is for show. 